Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, this time for vengeance. We got a nice little picture too on this one. Picture and a real reward. Boop, can I use a terminal? This way, please. Okay, robot, take us there. We gotta go. <laughs> we've, let it, we've we've got to go install Windows ninety eight because this is it's two thousand years out of date, which is a bummer. And uh, it can't access the correct terminals because it's it's all all fucked up because of a system software update. Flagship terminal. Is this it? Is this where we gotta go? Really? Let's see. Close your terminal. Its central control system is presently employing software update five fifty six thousand one hundred and thirty five. Dare I ask which version you are em employing? Why software version 42.002, of course. People warning errors detected in data management system. Estimated it's time required for update. Five years, one day. That, that is rather longer than we were hoping. Is there any other options? For instance, using the terminal to operate TMS restrictions instead? Boop boop, the... The proposed method is indeed an option. Please be warned, however, that the pro... That the produce may have changed as a result of the system update. And my... In, my instructions may no longer be accurate. Well, I can't imagine it has changed all that much. As long as we pay due attention to any discrepancies, I dare say we shall be able to muddle our way through. No bother trying to explain, just tell me if we've made any progress. I would, yes, I would say so. It does, however, require that I remain here to operate the terminal. I shall inform you via Link Pearl once I am ready to release the shackles. Might be best if you left the spirit vessel with me. I may, I may yet have use for it. Uh, rest assured, I will be certain to return to Graha once this is over. Sure, here you go. Just a little more work, and Tiamat will be free. Before we go any further, there is something I would know. When Tiamat and her king fought against the Elegant Empire. Both sides were but dancing to the tune of the Asians. It was the same in Ishgard, where they stoked the fires of conflict between man and dragon from the shadows. All that the Asians touched turned to ash, and thus have you made your mission to fight them. But there has been times when you tried to reach out to them instead, to find common ground. I must ask, what do you intend to do with the Daniel? Will you try to reach out to him too? I have no interest. <laughs> I have no interest in Stinian. I'm gonna love you, buddy. The Daniel is a fucking lunatic. Okay, he is. He is out of his mind bonkers. The only reason he's doing anything is because I've already killed all the Asians and there's no one else to keep a leash on him. Okay? He is literally an unhinged dog. You I I don't I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh certainly after uh certainly after I've wiped the smile off his face. Ugh, I'd rather my lads through his heart than be done with it. Yeah, same, to be honest. Uh, but perhaps there's a difference between you and me. You see the good in people, even if it's to be the faintest glimmer. I don't think there's anything good in him. Same with Xenos. I think they're just both unhinged murderers and they need to be killed. I only hope that you do not come to rule uh, your benevolence. You think I said wise for viewing the world thus? 
Far from it. I think it has ever been your way, as I learned when you journeyed, when we journeyed together with Iceheart. Uh, yet the fact remains that we are some some who view comparison as weakness uh, to be exploited, and there and there are many, and there may come a time when you extend the hand of friendship only to wish you had dealt the killing blow. To, so save your mercy for those who deserve it. Agreed. Well, we should be getting back to, uh, to our task. If Avno has things in hand here, I suggest we rejoin the others. Dude, I just want to fight Zenos again, man. Like, I'm all for that samurai on samurai fight. I'm all for it. Like, let's, let's fucking go, Zenos. I cannot wait to fight him again. If it's... Uh, I'm worried. I am I'm legit worried that I'm going to have to fight it with three other people next to me. Or I'm going to have to fight him in some bad, badly formed instance uh, where people keep getting in the way. I want to fight him face to face, one on one, to the death. Like... Let's get rid of him. Oh, I thought that was Tiamat. Tiamat's over here. What the fuck is that? What's that glowy thing? Is that the thing that's spewing all the grossness? Oh no, this is like purple grossness. Coming off of this uh, Aether. Oh, Tiamat. Oh no, beautiful. Let me just look at this. I want to see what this is. What the fuck is this? The Papa's tree. Oh, well, well then. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember that being so important. Man, I feel like I gotta replay, replay the, the entire fucking game to keep this shit all in my brain. I don't remember that being important though. <laughs> Watch it be like the most important thing in Heaven's War or some shit. Zidane so told me as well, but nothing more, honestly. It's like getting blood out of stone with him. I take I take it from Alphano's absence that he is indeed needed elsewhere. Yeah, he's doing the thing. Well, that sounds rather frustrating. Yes, system updates are rather frustrating. Uh, but you got here in the end while you were off uh, talking to Nodes. Graha and I were learning as much as we could about Tiamat's condition. The connection to the server was lost. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it was my internet. It was my internet. <laughs> it's fine. It wasn't the game. My internet crapped itself and died. That's okay. Um, right, is this where we were? The difficulty lies in the sheer quantity of Aether that it, which, which we could, which we must con contend multiple applications of treatment we would inevitably be required if we are to reserve the effects of tempering completely meaning all we need I'll need all the aether I can get thank you in advance so what, so what you're saying is that if Tiamat is tempered the amount of aether would be larger because she is larger is that what you're saying Although this endeavor will ask much of us, we have one reason to be so optimistic. Well, can't we just ask, like, House Vega or something? Could we not do that? Just thinking out loud. Namely, that Tiamat shows no signs of uh, fantastical de devotion, fanatical devotion, suggesting her milder case of tempering than that of Suffered of the Cobalts. Tiamat saw Bahamut as an equal, rather than a god. Uh, might that have made the difference? And now that you mention it, it very well might. Uh, she would not have believed it necessary to to differ to his will. If there, sorry. Uh, but, enough, but enough talk. It's time to put our theories to the proof. Tell Alphano to disengage the restraints. I like how we're doing this without any... 
any authorization. We're just doing this because we're like, hell yeah, let's do this. We <laughs> we've not asked, uh, like, Ishgard. We've not asked the dragons. Like, House Vega, we should be like, yo, dude, we're going to use TMR. Is that going to, like, fuck up your situation? Like, we've not done nothing. I'm counting on you, Angela. So, uh, wait, are they saying that she is slightly tempered? I'm, I'm quite, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit lost. That, that cut in, <laughs> that cut in the middle of that fucking thing really, really fucks me. Ah, <laughs> uh, such warmth. The forest that should have, my soul doth begin to fall. But what are these visions of days long forgotten? Of war with the man, with the men of Alec. Wherefore do such baleful memories return to me now? Be the process restoring his soul. To, so it's to pre tempered state? It's a, awakening in ancient memories, or might be the opposite be true. If so, by helping her to recall her past, we might very well speed her recovery. Strife, she trusts you. Speak to her. Ask her to tell you of times past. Yo, Tiamat, tell me a story. Tell me of your war with the men of Alec. I don't want us to call them ancients because that, like, it kind of implies, like, revealment. You know what I mean? Wicked, bloodthirsty creatures. Not content with their own lands. They brought fire and death to Mericidia, our home. The tale began when Bahamut and I, I left our father's side. We took wing in search of a place to make our array. Beyond the southern ocean, we discovered a lush, fertile land. It would, it would come to be known as Mericidia by the children of man. Though many years were to pass before they crossed the seas. Upon our arrival, we were welcomed by, uh, by, the peace, by the peaceful people of the forest, kin to the trees, surrounded by nature's bounty. Bahamut and I found a place to raise our young. Children of the forest? <laughs> Do we know what they are? Is Viera, maybe? I don't, I don't know, actually, which, which specific children. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, fascinating. This correlates with the writings of the Chalean scholar Rusha. Uh, she persists that the man first sighted or settled on the southern continent towards the end of the second astral era. Correctly, it would appear, uh, if only she was with us to hear the tale from Tiamat herself. Again, Angelo. Oh, look at this guy down here. I think that's just one of the dragons. When first the children of man arrived on our shores, no foot did they set in those places over which they held dominion. Such was their fear of dragon kind, and they kept their distance, so we let them be. Yet as the days went by, ship after ship appeared upon the horizon, bearing ever more of their brethren who divided the vast land amongst themselves. For a time they knew peace and prosperity, but it was their numbers grew, the smaller their share came to seem. And soon they began to convert the territory of their fellows, covet the territory of their fellows. Ere long man fought man, blood was answered with blood, and none could see the end to the strife. 
until one day they came to us. I picked an awkward name. Recognizing our wisdom, they entered us in us to intercede in their conflicts. Bahamut agreed. Is this Bahamut? <laughs> Is this picture of Bahamut? And with with him pressing over the affairs of men, the land knew peace once more. Alas, those golden days of harmony, too, were fated to, to end. For the man of Alec saw, slew the beloved, and I, in my rage and sorrow, heeded enveloped words of the Asians. The rest thou knowest only too well. You right there, Isaac? The tale doesn't end there. When you were when you were free, the, we'll rid the world of the Asians together. Then, you, then you and your beloved will have justice. Jesus, as I say, you're right. F fine sentiments, but uh, you're all, almost spent. I'll keep watch from above. If the treatment fails, fails, run. What? Ugh. This is a vote of confidence. I swear, when this is over, keep keep going, Elze. The Magitech is working. Um, hello. <laughs> well, I know it wasn't easy. It's gonna be easy. No patient could have prepared me for treating a great worm. But we're close. I can feel it. And while we're not only a few more drops of aphor left. To give with yours and Graha's, this will work. And I believe I speak for both of us when I say that you, you may take as such as you require. Careful, I might hold you to that. All right, here I go. Here we go. Tiamat being freed, baby. Oh yeah, is that high enough, Fastidian? Are you high enough there, buddy? You feel safe on that little hill? <laughs> Get him. I thought he was going to stand at the top of the Aper or something. I don't think me as a character would be able to do that so so easily. <laughs> Take a lot of practice, I feel. Yes, I feel it. The Elkhorn's grip grow weak. Did it work? We won't know for certain until the shackles are removed. Alpha now, release the trains. Command system slot update. Answer me this, children of man. Can my kindred be saved in this, in like a manner? Many have been subjected to the Alagans' dark arts. Their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. My children. Should you hearken unto my call, we shall fly together once more. But should you not, I shall grant you peace. 
Better to die than live as a tool of evil. You too would wish this, I know, and I shall do as I must. When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. Thou hath my gratitude, little one. Alphano's ready. It's time. Do it. And let's hope the treatment worked as it should. Oh, jeez. Kind of holes all over her. Or be completely fine. Robert. My beloved. For vengeance and anointment I rise. By the gods. Yeah, she looks actually completely and utterly fine. You think she'd have like holes in her and shit? Do you reckon it's because it's an aether or some bollocks? Like, because they're ethereal chains or whatever, like, they didn't pierce the skin, it was merely, like, piercing her aether or some bullshit? That's probably it. Brionje, your timing could not be better. Understood, we're on our way. It's Bahamut, who's been sighted over Pagolthan. Pagolthan? He flies for the largest Amalja settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Oh, shit. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. What do you mean you make your own way? We Our literally have an airship. Shall we? Oh, you're gonna fly on Tiamat? I'm sorry, are you flying or? Okay. Fuck you, Estinian. You don't get to be that cool. I want to be that cool. If I was a Dragoon, I would be fucking on the airship with my friends like every other motherfucker. Instead, you go off there fucking flying on Tiamat, being all cool and shit. What well, a fucking asshole. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're desperate to join Astinian and Tiamat in battle. It would be wiser to gather the full strength of the Scions, and the foe we face demands no less. Alright. We got ourselves some smoked chicken. Delicious. Next time, the flames of war. I'm excited. Very excited. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all then. Bye bye.